get this, get this in your mind. Everybody starts right here. Sales is the great equalizer of all human beings. Your background, I, I said in, up in Austin at the state meeting, if you went to Yale or if you've been in jail, it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. who, your dad, who your daddy is, wh wh where you went to school, if you didn't go to school, if your blood is red or blue or whatever color it is, my God, a hillbilly started this that whole thing. The, the great equalizer on this hill is your heart and your will. It doesn't matter what your IQ is. It doesn't matter what your background is. All that matters is get your book and go to work. We are fabulously colorblind. We are wonderfully it, <clears throat> gender, race, creed, age. Nothing matters on this hill except your will to win. And either <clears throat> you've got a vision. I've, I've, I've got three things to talk to you about, and I'm not going to make it. I want you to write these three words on your paper. Vision, mindset, <clears throat> and work ethic. And you've got to have all three of these to scale this hill. But the people who are strung out on this hill, and there's, there's 60 people in this room, and so we got people from 1 to 60 strung out on this hill. The people up here who have fought through this and who are, who are here are looking at a lifetime of achievement and accomplishment. They're looking at everything that they want. And if you talk to them, they will tell you that. But guys, for those of you who are here, and that's a large number of people in this room, you have got to find a way to survive this. I, I use the term boot camp. Anybody been in the military? <coughs> And when I was coming out of UK, everybody was, everybody was being drafted. And so I was drafted into the Army. And it was, you know, when you look at something like that, because I had spent four years in college and I was ready to go in the business world and, and do, make money. And then Vietnam was going on and so it's like, nope, you're going to the Army. So it's like, there's going to be eight weeks of pure hell. How do you get through this? You know how you get through it? One day at a time. And you know how you survive the first 90 days of this? With a, with a great attitude, with a great heart, and with the mindset that says, I'm going to find a way to work hard this day with a great attitude and do the very best I can. And suddenly you look up, and one week is in the book, and then three weeks is in the book, and then a month's in the book, and now suddenly you're halfway up the hill, and it's like, okay, I can do this. Because <clears throat> what you see on top, are people who are trying to get you up there. Let me have this group stand up. You've been here for a year or more. Okay, turn so that you're facing the, the majority of this body. Okay? Guys, you look at them. People who are standing, put both hands out. Re reach both hands out. No, 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 good God, you're not, it's not a cop ring. You're not being, oh, <laughs> put your arms out. Put your arms out. You know what, you know what they're telling you? They're telling you, come on, I'm here to help you. Here's my hand. What do you need me to do? They want to snuggle. How, no, no snuggle. <laughs> <laughs> snuggle with Richard. <laughs> my, my arms are an outreach to you in support and encouragement. They're standing on the top of the hill facing you saying, come on, come on. They scaled this hill, and they know how to help you get to the top of that hill, but you've got to reach out to them. You can't have a pouty attitude. Guys, it's tough. We know that. You're getting your ass kicked. That's the deal. But how many people do you know in your life have the opportunity to look at that? The reason this is so hard, the reason that you have to pay such an exacting price is because what waits over here? Do you know where most, tell these, you guys standing, tell, this, tell these people where you're headed in May. Chicago. South Beach. South, South Beach. Beach. South Beach. <laughs> Those of you who are standing, get back up there. Tell, tell these people where you're headed in September. Italy. Guys, do you know many, do many people on your block go to South Beach for spring break uh, on an all expenses paid deal? Do, do the people that you hang out with take vacation for a week or 10 days in Italy? Maybe not. That's what this business is. Look, guys, sit down. Thank you. Let's look at this again. Lifestyle, philanthropy, the money, 
money empowers you to live the lifestyle that you want. It lives. It, it, it allows you to live out the priorities in your life. And for those of you who are interested in travel, <clears throat> more than all of that, it's who and what you become. You'd agree that's a pretty neat group of people that stood up. Absolutely. You'd agree that the, that the sales directors in this company who own these businesses are pretty neat people, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, people you kind of want to hang around. Yeah, well guess what? You know where they started? The, you know where they started? Right there. So guys, believe me, if, if you want sympathy, oh my God, we, we'll just ooh and ah with you for the next hour. But at the end of the day, after that sympathy, that the emotion of that sympathy is over, you have got to go do what all the, this group has done, and that is call on Miss Jones, call on businessman Bob, call on Farmer Frank, work wherever you want to work, but you've got to go see the people. You got to learn the system. You got to learn the business. Is that understood? I got to sit down. Time's up. I'll be back to you. I want tomorrow. I want to talk to you about vision, mindset, and work ethic. With that, here's Joe's. Guys, let's get